Good morning. So today is the 16th day since breaking my fast. Um, last night and this morning were a bit of a challenge regarding emotions and just kind of focusing on um, unnecessary things that were more negative than positive. Uh, so I've kind of been struggling with that this morning. Um, but that's, I guess, the choice that I'm making instead of just focusing on all the good things that are happening. And one of the good things that happened was that Andrew and I were able to complete the workout that we've been doing. We've been doing uh, the Body Boss Method and today was the, the last day of the first week. So we finished that. Um, and now I'm going to have some coconut water. Andrew actually just opened up coconut for me. Um, so, as you can see, there it is, it's open. So I'm pretty excited to uh, consume that. I'm very excited to drink some coconut water right now. But um, yeah, so just today was a bit of a challenge and it wasn't super easy for me. It wasn't super easy this morning for me. Um, I just get a little bit concerned with the right thing to do and whether this is a right choice or what I want to do in my life, if it's like the right choice and the best choice. And so I get a little overwhelmed and I also want to not get hurt ever, <laughs> which is not super realistic when you're learning new things, especially when you're learning to move your body in different ways. Um, so, yeah, so those are things that came up for me today. <laughs> um, but I'm working to change my view and come, every, come at my thoughts with a more positive attitude and more, a more grateful heart and a more grateful attitude. So that's what I'm working on this morning, but I just wanted to mention that that was something that I struggle with, that I'm struggling with. And, you know, maybe that's something that you're struggling with too. Um, you know, because everyone has their their moments where they just get overwhelmed by, you know, the way they think they should be, or you know, should is like the worst word because it connotes wrongness. But you know, there's so many ways to live life, and there's so many opportunities that you can have, and there's not one right way or wrong, like you know, there's no wrong way, there's no right way. It just is, and that's something that I struggle with a lot because I feel like the way I was raised, or I, I feel that how I was raised, it was um, very like right or wrong. And um, yeah, so that's something that I am struggling with a little bit today. Um, but yes, so I am excited about my coconut water though, and I can't wait to express my gratitude for the coconut water and enjoy every single sip of it and enjoy my day. And, you know, actually I was planning to work today, um, but the people that I, um, that I work with, they're actually not feeling too well today. So, you know, I have a nice little kind of morning off, um, day off pretty much. Um, which is great because then I can work on some things that I want to do or not and not be judgmental towards that. And that's one of the things that I'm working on because I'm extremely judgmental, especially towards myself. And um, yeah, so I was planning to read that book last night, but I actually ended up not reading it all because I was just having a really difficult time emotionally and I really needed to express that to Andrew and we needed to talk it through and we did, which was nice. Um, so anyway, that is what's happening with me. Um, but I am excited to turn my view around so that I can enjoy today because today is a blessing and today is a wonderful day and there's no need for me to be upset about these things that I don't really have control over. And also there's no need for me to be upset about things that like haven't even happened yet or you know, whatever it may be. Or things that have happened in the past, like it's okay to let that go. So anyway, I just wanted to say that. Um, so thanks for watching and I'll keep you posted with what I'm eating throughout the day. All right, so hope you have a great first meal and hope 
that you are able to turn whatever struggles that you're having this morning, if you woke up with some struggles like I did, I hope that you can turn them around too and really think about all the blessings that you have in your life and not dwell so much on what isn't necessarily going as right as you would like it to. Hello. All right, so actually, I just woke up from a nap. I actually, um, after drinking my coconut water, I was really, really tired. So I think that increasing my exercise to what I've been doing and then starting to eat food again has kind of, has drained a lot of my energy because now my body's getting used to digesting things and also getting used to moving my body in ways I haven't really moved it in a while. So I just felt really tired and um, so I took a nap, which I feel better. I'm still a little bit tired about that, but I'm feeling a little bit hungry now. So I was hoping to make myself a meal of mangoes. I have a whole bunch of mangoes and I think they're ripe enough. So I really wanted to eat that. Um, I do have some watermelon too, so I think I'm just going to do fruit today and not um, um, more savory fruit today. I think I'm going to do the sweet fruit today and just see how I feel. Um, yeah, so today's kind of a relaxing day and Andrew actually is here with me. He wasn't feeling too well, so he also didn't go to work. Um, so it's just kind of nice that we're just taking kind of a day to here <laughs> for me just like literally it's, it's a lot doing the exercises the, the body boss method is really nice but it's just quite a bit of movement that I haven't done in a little while so and we're not even in like the 12 week program there's a 12 week program but then there's like a four week pre program which is what um, I had started with and what we decided that would be better to start with um, so yeah, and that way when we get to the actual program for the 12 weeks, I think it, our bodies would be a little bit more used to doing these kind of movements um, again. So anyway, I'm probably going to go prepare some fruit for myself, and I'm really wanting to read more of the book. I actually started a little bit of the Paleo Fantasy book. Um, and so far it's pretty good. I mean, I'm in the introduction. I haven't really read that much, but I'm excited to get through it and um, see what they say because um, it seems pretty interesting so far. Um, and I think I already know which book I want to read for my next <laughs> selection. So I'm just wanting to get through these because I'm just excited to understand the information and hear all these different opinions and things like that. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna go get my uh, mangoes ready. So I'll see you in a little bit. Okay, so I cut open the mangoes I had, but some of them, most of them are like brown on the inside. So I'm not really sure if they're gonna be very delicious. <laughs> but I also have a watermelon and a dragon fruit too downstairs and some oranges. So these aren't as good as I'd like them to be. I'll just put them in our compost pile and that will be that. So far it's pretty good. All right, so they were pretty good. Um, not the best that I've ever had in my life, but they were pretty good, the mangoes. Um, yeah. They weren't as good as the other ones I had the other day. Those were really, really good. Um, I'm not really sure what variety those were. I think they might have been Kent's or Keats. Um, they're not, they weren't so stringy like the Tommy Atkins are. Um, so yeah, I mean, it was okay. It's just like they were all brown on the inside. And it was weird because they were like getting ripe and they were starting to like ferment, but they're a little hard still. So it wasn't my favorite meal, but I know I will get all the nutrients that I need from those mangoes that I just consumed. And yeah, so that's the plan. That's what I'm eating for, I guess, my first meal. And 
And later on, I'll probably have the watermelon that's in the fridge, the half of the watermelon that's in the fridge, and maybe some dragon fruit. Um, it's enough to be consumed. So, and then tomorrow, I have a feeling it's gonna be like an orange day because I have a lot of citrus. I had like an open sore in my mouth, and it was like very like there was a little. I guess pop blood vessel or something, I don't know. But it's healed up. And um, anyway, whenever I had the citrus, it was pretty painful. And it was just like really stinging, so. But it's healed now, so everything's all good. All right, now I'm gonna go do a few things, probably read a little bit, check on Andrew, see how he's doing and continue to listen to my 432 music, 432 hertz music. It's, I find that listening to that helps calm me down and relax me, which is nice. I mean, I do enjoy listening to just like dance music too. I love dancing, but um, that 432 hertz, especially when I'm having a tough time, like I was this morning, it does help. It seems to help a lot, so um, yeah. Maybe I'll actually actually even go for a walk because it was raining this morning, but it seems like it's not raining anymore. So it'd be nice to maybe just get outside for a little bit and go to maybe High Falls or just walk somewhere. So anyway, um, until my next meal. All right, so I made my supper for tonight. And um, as you know, I've been a little bit obsessed with tomatoes. <laughs> and bell peppers and I've been eating a salad so I thought I'd switch it up today. So I actually um, made a raw tomato soup and I also marinated some mushrooms. Um, I don't think it's really master fast system approved because I marinated them in the co coconut aminos which does have salt in it. So I'm gonna see how my body reacts. I just wanted to give it a try. I am going back on a nine day fast starting on Monday. So I was like, well, if worse comes to worse, I'm not going to be eating anything starting Monday. But anyway, it looks really good. I don't know if you can kind of see this here, but it's just tomatoes, a little bit of onion. I put a little bit of dried basil and oregano um, and dates. And that's it, I just blended it up and that was it. It's super simple, super quick, it's delicious. I took a little like finger of that already. So I'm really, really excited. And the mushrooms I really like because they add like a meaty texture and I've been kind of wanting something like that. So I'm gonna see how my body reacts to that. I did have a bowel movement today and it was really easy and simple. So I'm feeling really good about my digestion and how it's working. So I just thought I'd share that with you. But it's like so good, it smells so good. And it was inspired by Lissa's Raw Food Romance. I bought her book a while ago and she has a marinated mushroom like pizza bite thing. And that's I think how I ended up doing this. And she also has like a pe red pepper tomato soup. So I kind of followed a little bit of the recipe, but not really. But it was just, I just was inspired by that recipe, those two recipes and I combined them together. So anyway, just thought you might want to know. So I'm going to enjoy this. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, let's see. Really good, huh? Mm. It's amazing. It's amazing. I put onion in this because we had one left over in the fridge. I didn't really want to eat the onion, but I put it in here anyway. So it makes it a little bit spicier but I figure it's helpful for your immune system. That's what medical medium says at least. It helps clean out um, viruses and stuff, so. Mm. Okay, so I just had this uh, little meeting and I am actually hungry, so I'm gonna finish up the soup that I had from earlier now with the mushrooms. And I'm so glad that I had this because it's so good. Thanks for watching. If you like these videos, please give it a thumbs up. If you don't like them, you can also give them a thumbs down, that's okay. Or nothing, you don't have to do anything. Um, and um, subscribe to our channel if you want to get notifications when we have new videos up on our channel. And we would love to hear from you, so leave some comments, any questions, anything below in the comment section. Um, and yeah, 
Until tomorrow, have a wonderful night.